Polls are open in North Texas for early voting today through November 3rd. Election day is November 7th. You can find your polling location and hours on your city or county website. New schools, renovating older ones, and building a new football stadium. Those are just some of the items that voters in the Prosper ISD area are considering. Now, this is part of a whopping nearly $3 billion bond measure here. Political reporter Jack Fink spent some time in Prosper in Collin County to get the community's pulse on this issue. We're in the middle of hypersonic growth. They keep building new houses in the Prosper ISD, and school district leaders say they need to keep up. Ten years ago, the district had just over 6,400 students. Now that number has leapfrogged to more than 28,000. And ten years from now, the district is projected to have more than 45,000 students. So the district has proposed a $2.8 billion bond measure. Jim Bloom supports it and is among the parents who's helped plan for it. I have a nine year old daughter, and I would like her to have first class facilities from grade school through high school. Most of the money is for Prop A, $2.4 billion. It's for building 10 new schools, expanding and modernizing 12 existing campuses, safety and security, buying land and buses. If it doesn't pass, Superintendent Dr. Holly Ferguson says it will be devastating to students and teachers. Because right now we have 134 portable classrooms in the district. There will be more portables that come in the event that the voters don't approve this. We'll see teachers start leaving and we'll see families start leaving the area. Another part of this bond project is building a second district-wide stadium for all the high schools right here at a cost of $95 million, a record for the state of Texas. The stadium would be similar to the first one that opened in 2019. Aileen Blackowski, who's in the Prosper ISD, doesn't send her students to the district schools. She opposes the bond, saying the costs for the schools are too high. We are growing at unprecedented paces, but so are other areas in Texas, and they are able to build schools that provide learning environments that are perfectly suitable and that are at market rate. This is not at market rate. We can do this better. The superintendent says they have to account for inflation. Prices that we've never seen before, but we are seeing now, and we have to be prepared for that. For Jim Bloom, the bond makes sense in more ways than one. It's going to help your home values. It's going to help and do the greater good for the community. In Prosper, Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas.